I can't say that I'm surprised by this. I uh, I I started to notice little cracks uh, in this whole thing a while back, actually, a while back, even even before that whole Barbarossa versus Chapin thing, um, which which I actually just caught glimpses and pieces of. I didn't actually uh, watch the entire back and forth between them. Um, actually, even before Barbarossa versus um, what the hell was that girl's name? Uh, Wooly Bumblebee, Wobbly Bumblebee, whatever the hell. Um, uh, I can't keep up with people anymore. Um, but I did notice some cracks coming in this entire thing, and I, 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 <laughs> I, I wasn't surprised, and I'm not by this now. I will, however, for the, f <laughs> and, and, and you'll see why I say this in a second, but for the few people that watch me, the, I don't know, tens, maybe a couple hundreds of people that watch me, um, and, uh, and also watch those two guys, I will offer an alternative. Because it seems, because it seems, I mean, not trying to look like the independent here, but it seems like, you know, you have a left and a right, a left and a right, you know, and I'll, and I'll leave you to pick who's left and who's right between Aaron Clary and Barbarossa, but I'd like to offer a third alternative, which I shall ultimately make known just concisely uh, at the end of the video, but now we have this. I watched Aaron Clary's video and yeah, okay, I can, I can, I can, I can see what he's saying. And then he went and uh, specifically zeroed in and locked on to Barbarossa. And that, and the moment I heard that, I'm like, ah, oh, shit, here we go, son of a bitch. And uh, before I made this video, I mean, I just came back from the gym, as you've seen. Um, before I made this video, I'm like, you know what? Let me see if Barbarossa put up shields and started uh, firing his uh, phasers or cannons or whatever, firing back. And lo and behold, <laughs> he did. Um, so, seeing what's happening there, and uh, I left comments on both. In fact, I'm actually going to read off, if, if you happen to not see it by the time, um, by the time you see this video or see their videos. Um, Barbarossa Zone is, is just real simple. I, I mean, I just simply, um, I just simply wrote, uh, quote, here we go, as we say in chess, or in parentheses, as I say, or at least as I say in chess, uh, let's see who wins on this exchange. And that was it. Um, so, but on Aaron Clary's own, because he said a lot more stuff, um, I actually did have a f okay some things, but mainly a uh, a question, and you can feel free to answer that here, one and all, not just him, but one and all. I uh, can feel free to answer that here as well. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Boom. On the phone. Uh. And off. No. Uh, um, and okay, the reason also that I'm making this video is for one, it is not only just for this, but also for a specific person in particular. Um, because I sh yesterday I had her watch Aaron Clary's video, and she apparently seemed to be in agreement with him about me. And I think that if, uh, anybody else seems to have this problem where you happen to be dating a girl or with a girl okay um, in any form or fashion and she might be saying the same things or like yeah that's you that's you that's you yeah so I said to him well I said on uh, Aaron Clary's page um, well as far as the whole uh, having a picture up instead of instead of um, instead of seeing my face like you're seeing it now well 
Okay, in this video, I don't plan on making it more than, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Okay, but for example, that video that I, that I made some time back, destroying the Gracies and their jujitsu thing, if anybody even knows about that one, um, that thing was three plus hours long. Okay? My rape analysis video is over four hours long. <laughs> okay? And despite that, they both managed to be well over one gigabyte. I had to upload that shit at work because, you know, I mean, they have, like, I'm guessing, a T1 connection at work, whereas I have some bullshit Comcast here, okay? So, as far as uploading videos and not showing your face, yeah, there's a privacy aspect and all that, but, I mean, it's the same thing like having a screen name versus your own name, uh, but for me personally, I do that in a lot of cases because it's a lot faster to upload, it's a lot easier if you want to edit stuff. It's a lot easier to edit and not have and not have the seams showing. So that's one. Uh, but probably the main thing here is um, what uh, when I said on Aaron Clare's page, quote, I do have one question. What say you to girl rights? What uh, girl right rights? What apostrophe s what's Work on women and hypergamy and own group uh, on women and hypergamy and own, own group preference. That and Briffle's law. That's that's something that she, I believe she's talked about. Barbarossa has definitely talked about. Um, I dare say Karen Strong can be labeled a misogynist, and many of the theories, uh, and many of the theories that the radical MGTOW, so to speak. Um, have posited have more or less been proven to be absolute fact. Um, yeah, so that that's 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 essentially what I wrote there, and then I just left it. Now, apparently, some people might want to say that I match a lot of what Aaron is saying, uh, especially this one girl in particular that I'm seeing, and. I didn't get too much into a debate about it because I know I could and I know I could win it and blah, 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 blah. But for anybody else that has this problem, in fact, I'll show her to you. I'll show her here. I mean, hell, I'll show her to you. You've probably seen her before if you've been paying attention to the... See? There you go. I mean, you've seen her. You've probably seen her before right? in the background if your screen is big enough. She's the one that gave me this shit for Valent up. Uh, not shit, but, you know, gave me this and a whole bunch of other stuff for Valentine's Day. All right. Um, apparently, because she has been trying to, quote-unquote, get me um, for well over a year. And I, mean, I mean, we've been together for probably going on almost two years, okay? We're seeing each other, at least, um, for almost like two years now. And I had let it be known. I mean, hell, she saw my videos, she saw my views, she saw my stance on stuff. She didn't like it. I always got the feeling that she was trying to be the one woman that broke through my defenses or whatever the hell. And uh, I had my stances, I had my views on things. She didn't like it, and now Aaron gives her, I mean, not not of his fault, I'm not blaming him for anything, but he gives her, I guess through me showing her, uh, the fuel for like, yeah, that's what I was thinking about you all this time. Yeah. People, you've got to understand, people have their preferences for stuff, their choices for stuff, and if that doesn't match what you want, then you're free to go. It's no different than the person, then say for women, if a guy wants, as as Aaron himself said, um, I'm, I'm 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 paraphrasing here, girl with huge tits, huge ass, thin waist, you know, thick thighs and whatever, you know, um, cute face or whatever, okay, in shape, men are demonized for that, but yet, and. And it's like, okay, you should you should like the fat girl, the overweight girl, and if you don't, you're some sort of, uh, I don't know, um, 
misogynist, you fat shamer, or this or that. Put that in reverse, though, and you have the Thor-looking, ripped abs dude, muscle magazine, fitness magazine dude. If he says he wants the hot girl, he's shamed. But the girl then, essentially the female version, the hot girl, if she says she wants, oh, she wants a guy that's the same, that's, that's coming with the same as her, then all of a sudden, if you try to shame her, oh, you are a misogynist, oh, you're trying to oppress women, oh, she's free to make her choices, oh, it's only fair, she busts her ass in the gym, but... And here it is, you're coming morbidly obese, damn near bedridden. You haven't seen your dick since preschool, but yet you want this hot 10, you know? And, and, and it gets annoying. It gets annoying, people. It really, really does, okay? People want what they want. I mean, hell, to put it all simply, if you don't understand this, when you walk into a store, do you have to take everything? Do you have, I mean, I, I believe this is quoting now or paraphrasing Thug Titian, if anybody remembers him. Okay, that should tell you how long I've been on here doing this shit. Um, you walk into a store. Do you have to buy every single thing in that store? No. I want this. I want that. I want this. You keep that. No, I don't want the warranty. Here is my money. You wanted my money. I want these items done. So, too, it is with men and women. I mean, I've said this a number of times. And, and I've yet to, again, hear a straight answer that can't be refuted about this. In today's day and age, what do men and women need each other for apart from sex? Okay? Again, men have been showing for the longest time that they've, they've been showing since the beginning that, that they can take care of themselves, plus kids, plus wife, plus kid, or kids, plural. Thanks to the technology of today that, thanks to men, you're welcome, Women are now showing that they can do the exact same thing, except for the whole taking care of kids part. If I remember correctly, there's a study that shows that single fathers do much better raising kids and raise better quality kids that are uh, better for society than single mothers. Uh, if anybody knows that study, if I'm not mistaken, feel free to point it out. Um, but apart from that, women can do everything as well. So in today's day and age, what do you really, I mean, what, company? Com companionship okay you can find friends for that you know it's, it's just you know so then what then if a guy only wants sex from a girl if he just wants to use women for sex and that's it so what there's no shortage of women out here despite what you may have may see in real life there's actually no shortage of women out here that have no time for a relationship because they're too busy being this strong power trip, raising the corporate ladder. Yeah, when it comes down to it, people still want to fuck, all right? When it comes down to it, people still want to fuck. Uh, nobody wants to... No guy wants to have to jack off every fucking time he wants to bust a nut. Every time some girl wants to have her fucking cervix messed up, she doesn't want to have to fucking reach in and, and, and use her own fucking fingers. No. She wants that dude to use his special finger and reach in there and clean her out. Okay? Pocket pussy and vibrators only get only go so far before they get real old real quick. Not that I would know from personal experience, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, come on now. <laughs> I've yet to see a situation where the substitute is better than the real thing. Hopefully that's the case with that solution I have for rape in that rape analysis video with the uh, androids, the humanoid androids. Okay, but if you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch the fucking video. I've had four fucking hours. Longer than Lord of the Rings, longer than The Hobbit, longer than Ben-Hur. Four fucking hours of me one with Windows Movie Maker. The least you can do is to go watch the shit, even if you have to br break it up into parts. Now... One thing I will say is that people need to take what they can. I mean, I guess this is probably coming towards the end of the video.
people need to take what they can from all camps. Aaron Clary has his points. Barbarossa has his points. Everybody knows that both of them, in small doses, are valid. Okay. So what then is my solution? Well, just that. Take what you can from all camps. And actually, you know what? To further reinforce that point, I'm going to read off one last thing. Bear with me here. Bear with me. And this actually goes back on my video, that same rape analysis video. Uh, back, 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 back. Uh, where is that? Here we go. All right. So Hardin 9 wrote what he wrote, and if, I mean, hell, there's not that many comments on it, so you can go see what it is, but for those who can't be bothered, I wrote back to Hardin 9, thank you for that comment and your support, it means a lot. Now quoting him, none of the other members of the men's movement are addressing this at all, which leads me to wonder if the people in the men's movement are actually pro-male men who do have who do have the objective of liberating men from oppression or these are all just trad con slash white knights pretending to be pro male who simply wish they could have a traditionalist relationship themselves to which point I um, uh, wrote quote quoting myself here I can almost guarantee the latter is prevalent in all areas from MRA to MGTOW this was the hidden reason for my first video of the new year uh, titled New Year, uh, New Direction for my channel. Feel free to go watch that as well. Okay. I sense all these camps rotting from the inside or isolating themselves into oblivion. Since I don't have the subs or views to make any difference, chances are this video is probably not going to make, make more than maybe a couple hundred views. Um... Since I don't have the subs or views to make any difference, I'll grab what's useful, pack up shop, pull up anchor, and set sail before any darkness comes. I keep hearing from the average person who isn't subscribed to any camp how MRA slash MGTOW and feminists need to violently fuck the shit out of each other to relieve stress and start liking each other. It appears that's what more or less, it appears that's more or less what's coming, among other things. Hopefully I'm wrong, but I don't think so. Feel free to go read the comments yourself. Okay? People, take what's useful from anybody. Girl writes what? Barbarossa, Chapin, Stardust, uh, Razorblade, Aaron... Take what's useful for you from all groups. Leave whatever is not useful for you. Add your own herbs and spices. Bake on broil for 30 minutes. Shit, you get what I'm saying, all right? I mean, you get what I'm fucking saying here. Because when it comes down to it, we all still need to live in this world. And... Subscribing to any one camp specifically, I have come to find out it's probably not the best of things to do. And this is why, and I've said this in previous videos, so I'm not just saying this now. Uh, I don't have, I don't subscribe to any camp. I drop anchor in certain camps, meaning I have certain stances that might seem to say that I am for that camp, but no, nah, no, nah. I just take what's useful for me and leave the rest. Now, one thing that Aaron Clary did say that I, and um, um, that Barbarossa countered with, and that I kind of agree with Barbara, and that I do agree with Barbarossa on, is this whole, uh, this whole business on, um, I guess going through the fire and going and experiencing it yourself 
again, I'm not quoting, I'm paraphrasing here. That is one thing that I never did support or subscribe to. And this is actually the same thing that my girl here went and um, brought up to me yesterday after watching Aaron's thing. It's like, you know, you don't give me a chance and whatever the hell, whatever, whatever, whatever. And it's not that I didn't give her a chance. It's just that I had my stance. I had my way, my modus operandi. And apparently she wanted to change that or modify it and it wasn't working. Um, so, yeah. But... My thing is this, and I'm, gonna, and I'm half losing my train of thought here, but my thing is this, the way I looked at it is not that I'm not trying, I mean, hell, I mean, everybody knows that I get ass, okay, so that's, I mean, oh, wow, you can't get laid, okay, that's clearly not the case, obviously not the case. If anybody's watched that other video, leasing pussy versus buying it, okay, um, amongst others, you see my face, so I'm not hiding. Everybody knows I go to the gym. This is not my third pair of gloves that I've gone through. Don't believe me? Here you go. Here's the very first pair. And you can feel free to go through the annals of my video and when I started working out. Okay, here's the first pair. One continuous shot. Here's the second pair. Okay. Here's the third pair. So this is over two plus solid years. I change these things once a year. This is over two plus solid years of me going to the gym. Again, you can go watch my videos. 500 pound deadlifts, 600 pound squats. You don't just walk into the gym and do that. So, yeah, I do all that shit, okay? I do all that stuff, but yet I still have my stance, even though I guess some might consider me acting alpha or whatever the fuck. Look, the only reason that I go to the gym is because the, the, the main reason, amongst other things, want to be fit and healthy and all that stuff, is because I, when I, hopefully if I get to 90 or 100 years old, I want to be able to just spring out of bed, walk, jog, maybe even run, God forbid, fucking sprint, 100 years old, still sprinting, oh my God, yeah, I'm going to be able to do that, okay, not need a cane, be able to wipe my own ass, okay, after taking a shit at 100 years old, you know, I'd like to be able to do that, maybe look like I'm 60 years old when I'm 100, who the fuck knows, uh, that is the main reason why I'm doing that from now, it has nothing to do with looking like fucking bodybuilder magazine to go get girls or some shit. No, it has nothing to do with that. Okay? Um, but back to the main point. I am a firm believer in learning from other people's mistakes. And a lot of the mistakes that people have, uh, um, that um, these, these MGTOWs are going through, or, or when well, I'm going through, but saying, yeah, fuck this, I'm not doing that, I'm not doing that, and other people are saying you're not even trying, and you're just sitting here, like, what the fuck? I support those guys that are saying, fuck that, because I'm just, because, I mean, I've, I've said this actually on, on, on Aaron Clary's video about something else, um, something completely unrelated to this, where I end up saying, um, I think he was talking about the people, no, no, it it was a video that he made, and in one part of the video, he was like, "Well, um, he he was mocking some woman or so, or 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 the leftist liberals that end up saying, well, you, you can't knock it unless you try it.' Well, you know what? Have you ever gone through it? So you don't know, so you can't say anything." And he ripped that shit apart. And to which point, I went and commented on his video, roughly to the uh, roughly quoting by saying, "Look, I don't need to." get shot by a gun to know it's not my best interest. I don't need to fucking catch chlamydia or herpes or gonorrhea or AIDS to know that I don't want that. You know, I don't need to get fucking raped in the ass by some dude to know that, you know what? Mm, that's not for me. You know? Yes, I can be able to say, I can knock it before I try it and say, you know what? I don't want to do that. I do want to do this. 
No, I don't feel like getting third degree birds just to try it to make sure that I don't like it. Yeah. Um, and that's pretty much, and that's pretty much it. I mean, that, that, that's probably the one thing, if nothing else, and I mean, there are some other things, but if nothing else, that I will side with the guys that are saying, no, fuck this, fuck that. Now, to go swearing off women, I wouldn't do that. I would not do that. Um, you just have to play smart with it. Again, if you want to talk about playing smart, feel free to go watch my Lisa Pussy vs. Buy Pussy video. How the hell am I, how the hell have I fucked, what, one short of a quarter of a hundred women? And yet no STDs and no kids, despite the fact that I should have probably had about eight kids by eight different women by now. How the hell did I do that? Playing smart. Thinking a little bit about it. Want to know what the fuck I'm talking about? Go watch that video. Um, but yeah, it, 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 it's swearing off women altogether? Obviously not. I mean, we can do that once the androids come. Once the uh, humanoid androids come. Those female humanoid androids that I was talking about in that rape analysis video. That plenty of people have been talking about. That Japan actually has in, I guess, what should be considered compared to the uh, finished, pro uh, finished working product, a primitive stage, what they have right now. Feel free to go research that. That's when you can swear off women, and I guess they probably have a male versions so women can swear off men, and then we have this whole business of artificial sperm that's been here for a while, uh, artificial womb that's been here for a bit as well. Um, unlike the former, the latter women's interest groups in Washington are trying to shut down because, quote, that I made a video about this all a long time ago, that I took down because, shit, like, what, three, four years, and it only got a thousand views, um, or so. According to the women's interest groups that try to shut that shit down, men can use that, the artificial womb, um, to continue the species without women. They weren't saying any of that shit in reverse, when it came to artificial sperm, oh yay, they hail this as the official end of men. Apparently sperm banks was not the end of men because, well, you still needed men to fill those banks up. Anyway, this video has gone on long enough. That is my alternative. If people do, if people, if, for those of you who like Aaron, um, Aaron Clary as well as Barbarossa, as well as everybody else, and you don't want to pick sides, don't. Because if it's one thing that I've noticed, and I've said this in, in, in my the first video of this year, of 2015 that I made, is that I notice that the Japanese, I get to see any Japanese person, actual Japanese, not white guy living in Japan commenting, uh, not Japanese over here in America, Japanese over in Japan where this herbivore movement thing is fucking crippling everything. I don't hear them making any videos. I've, I've checked YouTube. If anybody can show me, I will happily link to it and correct myself in the comments and in the annotations. I don't see them... I, I don't see them making any videos. I don't see them trying to fix the situation, I just see them not, not saying anything, just doing something, okay? And what are they doing? Their own shit, and they don't give a fuck what... The Western world, from what I've come to understand, is making a bigger deal about this whole, uh, this, this herbivore movement thing than even Japan is, and Japan is in fucking trouble. They are in fucking trouble if they don't fix this shit, Okay? And God help them as to what the hell the cause for that is, considering that Japan has not gone through feminism and its bullshit and, 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 and its negative effects, as well as whatever. It hasn't gone through what the West has gone through yet. That herbivore thing over there is happening. And has been happening. Okay, so... For anybody who doesn't want to pick a side, don't. Do what I do.
take what's useful, leave what's useless. Yes, I'm plagiarizing Bruce Lee. Fuck you. Take what's useful, leave what's useless, and add what is essentially you or uniquely whatever you said your own. Done. Anyway, tomorrow is my birthday. 28 years of living. Uh, I hope to God that that return that I sent for the struts for my old car um, goes back to my car or else I am fucking broke, especially since the gym membership payment is going to get deducted from my car tomorrow morning, Friday. So hopefully that comes in on my American Express card or else I am fucking broke and can't do anything on my birthday. And yes, I got a new car. Uh, 2012 Mazda 6. I just got tired of fixing the old one. Kept having problems. Same recurring problem year after year. Even I, I don't know. Maybe it's the cold. But I just got tired of it. So, yeah. Anyway. Um, that's it.